Well, hello. Would you look at that? It is 11.11 in the morning, after the night, after the evening. 11.11. It's one one dot dot one one. One 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 one. Is that good luck? Is it good luck to be at a time where it is consecutive of the same number four times? Who knows? Hello. Greetings. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Yes, hello to you. And you. Yes, and I see you. And I see you back there. Do- oh, sorry, you're a fully grown adult. I probably shouldn't be talking to you like that. So, um, I was just uh, discussing with uh, some estudiantes, which is a word that I have made up for students. And uh, we, you know, you know, sex ed, sex ed, yeah, mm-hmm, sex ed. Yeah, so, giving some sex ed, talking to students about this. Um, um, some, uh, uh, you know, I don't know why they have someone such as myself or anyone really over the age of 13 teaching sex ed, because those wonderful <clears throat> preteens uh, have. So much more knowledge on the topic than we do. In fact, they educate us in class. Miss, one time I was, and I'm like, oh my god. Seriously? Can't believe that happened. Yeah, so anyway, talk about this. Soon I started talking about them. They kept using this phrase. When I lost my virginity. When did you lose your virginity? When did you lose it? Lose it! When did you lose your virginity? It's something, I think, I think it's very, very, very difficult to lose your virginity. I think that's not the type of sentence we should be using. I, can th- I, can- I think we can do- I can think you could probably lose a kidney faster than you could lose your virginity. You could, people could drug you and, 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 and cut you open and remove your kidney and sew you back up faster than they could probably take your virginity. It's not something you lose easily. You wake up in the morning, oh, I can wear my keys. I can't find my keys. I'm going to be so late. And my virginity, it's gone. I just I can't find it where I did life. Yeah, I think you should be using the sentence more like, ah, you know, this is uh, something I carefully planned out and then executed, and then uh, gave my V-card to another person, and they too exchanged theirs with me. And that, that should probably be the proper terminology for, for losing your virginity. And, but again, I know nothing on the topic. So, yeah. yeah. Anyways, so, yeah. Um, also, my arm is killing me. I notice I have to hold my camera sometimes with this arm, and I usually hold it, I usually hold it with this arm all the time. Oh, that feels nice. And, and this, this, this thing here is, is w- way bigger on this side than it is on this side. It's just because, I guess, c- carrying it around. And you know, there are so many vloggers. There are so many people carrying on camera. This, this is a, it's a, it's a disease. It's an epidemic. It's, it's going around. Everyone has it. It's called vlogger syndrome. <laughs> Donate now. <laughs> Every little bit helps so that we can find a cure for our big bulky one side and lanky other side. <laughs> Or the other way around, if this is why you carry your camera. <laughs> yes, so that we can... Donations will go to make a metal arm that will hang off of us from here and attach our camera and film for us. Every little bit helps. Yes, anyway, then we moved on <clears throat> from, from that to other things. What happens after you lose your virginity where I, I tripped and I fell and I... I looked everywhere. It must have rolled off. It had rollerblades on. And, um, and I was on a hill, and then there was a lake and a forest. It could be anywhere. I just, I've lost it. I've lost it. Um, um, moving on to other things that happen, you know, after that, such as babies. Yes, when you have babies. Uh-huh. Um, so, um, I don't know. We talked about that. Not much, because I don't know where babies come from. Like, to you pump your elbow. <laughs> Baby, squirt it out of my elbow. <laughs> Imagine if we talked with emoticons. Like, you know when you're typing? Like with texting, and then you send. I'm always on, on the big face, on the on the D or the double, the double double half moon, the two dots, double double half moon. So if I actually talked the way I, I typed, I would be like, Hey, guess who I bumped into the other day? No, it wasn't your mom. It was your sister. I saw her. I hope I bumped you guys so much more often. Mm, winky face. Yeah, that's how I would talk because it would be exhausting. I think I'd probably get like whiplash in my neck. Then I'd have to see a chiropractor and tell him about how I lost my... nothing. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what we were talking about, discussing about babies and where babies come from. And then, you know, people start talking about their showers and, and, and this, this kind of thing. I know it's sex ed, but a lot of them, it should have been like, um, more like mother ed, because most of them have had babies already. Anyways, so, yeah, then we discussed, you know, babies and where they come from. Um, they educated me a lot, you know. You have to, you can't be, you can't be that type of person who's like, I will educate 
everyone that comes into my path, no one will leave without being more enlightened than when they came in. It, it doesn't work like that. Sometimes it works the other way. You have to be open to knowledge and accept it from all sources, even if they're 12-year-old hookers. Okay. There's no such thing. Anyways, um, so, yeah, babies. You know when someone has a baby? And I think they know what they, what they had. Like, they, they know what they pushed through their elbow and came squirting out at them. But yet, when you go to the, a baby shower and, and you want to buy things, everything tells you what the gender of the baby is. Like, I'm going to go to the mother and be like, you had a bush! Oh my God, I definitely thought I had a asexual elephant. How did I have a baby human boy? It's like such a surprise. Everything. Boy, girl. And even if it doesn't say... If you walk into a place and it looks like cotton candy and unicorn had a wild night, you know, it's pretty much a girl. Um, and then yellow is so frowned upon. I don't know what's up with that thing. I, I don't like yellow. I think it doesn't look like, nice on anyone, especially that, like, bright yellow. Bright. I don't think it looks nice on anyone. Bright yellow. Bright. Yeah. Um, but um, the, the light, light, light yellow, the, the one that they do for babies, because you don't want to bring that bright thing, and then your baby will grow up to be... You know, <clears throat> like me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe my mother had really bright yellow rooms for me when I was a child. No, nope, I don't think so. Um, so it was probably just all the sun and delicious food that I was given and, 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 and the clothingness and the, the love and the affection that they gave me and that is why I turned out to be so awesome. Um, so yeah, but then you know when you go to someone's house for a baby shower or something and, and they have um, a banner and stuff and it says, it's a, it's a boy, it's a girl. I don't understand. You know what you had. Why don't you just say, she's a girl, she's a boy. Well, it'd be he's a boy, because that's how it works grammatically. But, you know, whatever. Maybe if she's half-half, you could say he's a girl or she's a boy. No problem. No one's judging. But, yeah, I, did you not want to give the surprise away too early on in a three-word sentence? She's a boy. Okay, if you condense it, it's three words. Otherwise, it's four. She is a boy. She is a boy. She is a a girl, yes, he is a boy. Yeah, so I don't know, it's like we're going to come in and it's going to say, it's a girl, and we're like, oh my, it's a girl, yes, and like we couldn't tell with all the puff candy pink that's around here, and if it said she's a boy, people say, oh, you left no mystery, no, I walked in, I saw she, I knew you had a girl, how could you do this to us? At least, right, it's, oh my goodness, I don't know why I said it like that, oh my goodness. Oh, God. Oh, dear, dear, God. No, I said that. Anyways, um, yeah, so I just, it's, you know what you had? No, 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 no need. And uh, stores, I think the stores should say, when you go, uh, hi, um, you have endured many months of carrying this child, and then you flexed your bicep, and she came into the elbow, and you squeezed her, whatever, it'll give the description of how you have babies. I have no idea. Never tried. Um, never tried. <laughs> like, like riding a bicycle. I'm going to... Oh, I did not have a baby today. <laughs> Tomorrow. Um, so, um, fingers crossed. Uh, 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 yeah, you had your baby. You endured many months and then many hours of, 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 of uh, horrific pain. And now you will have to raise it for the rest of your life. Congratulations. Sincerely, all your single friends who are so happy you went through this first. So that we can ask you later when maybe we never have babies or if we ever get crazy and think about it. So that's what it should say. And then he'll be like, yeah, I'm um, here. Uh, congratulations that you endured all that pain and pushing and had a baby and now you will have it for the rest of your life. Uh, we hope that you will be a good parent and that it will be a good child and that you guys will love and live um, happily ever forever after. Mm -hmm. That's what the card should